gamers we out here <laughs> can you smell that this fresh air through the video i shouldn't be breathing in so hard i'm gonna suck in all the leftover pollen plus it's extremely hot i don't know why i'm wearing a hoodie anyway we're painting plein air today we're staying outside so let's head to the park yeah Woo! look at me roll So, what is on plein air? Plein air is French for the word outdoors, so it's pretty much a fancy way to say we're painting outside. It's fun to have a change in scenery outside my bedroom or a studio, and it presents new challenges like changing weather and light. It's my first time painting on plein air, so I came with a friend. Say hi! <laughs> He's much more experienced in plein air painting and has a proper easel and everything. Please appreciate this giant roll of paper towels he brought with him. I packed just the essentials, wanting to keep my setup as portable and easy to clean up as possible. Today, this tree is my model. Traditionally, people usually paint landscapes when outdoors, which is what Lee is doing. I haven't painted a landscape in forever, so I felt more comfortable focusing on one subject rather than a scene. I jumped right into painting without sketching first. We love to see the confidence. Is that character growth? Anyway, here are a couple things I learned during this first try at plein air. Number one, know where the sun is and which direction it's moving in because even though the sun may start in a good spot, you may be blinded by it depending on how long you spend painting. Number two, I get easily distracted by animals. We were set up on the side of a path and on this day, lots of people were out and about. You know, dog walkers, bikers, bird feeders, summer camp kids. Everyone was enjoying the weather. At first I felt a bit self-conscious, but after a while I found it easy to ignore the people. But the second a squirrel or a bird landed in my six foot vicinity, my eyes were glued to them immediately. They were so cute, I mean look at these little guys, how can I not be distracted? They had no problem approaching us too, so I gladly stopped everything to say hi to them. Eventually, as hard as it was, I stopped watching and completed my painting. Leaving the path, Lee found our next spot in the foresty part of the park. <laughs> this area was much more hidden and secluded, away from people but closer to bugs. Is the bug, bug spray specifically for this use, or is it for indoor use? This is... Sportsman Max. 40% heat, repelled mosquitoes, ticks, gnats, flying flies, chiggers, and fleas. And then there's oh, a guy rhymes. fishing. <laughs> I think it rhymes. Instant repellent. Effective, long lasting. Not sponsored. <laughs> 
bug repellent spray dolls ready to give plein air painting a second go. Model number two will be this branch of leaves. Like the first one, I started with a light wash of color just to get the page more neutral compared to the stark white. With the color straight from the tube, I mapped out the general shape of the branch and leaves, kind of like if they were just a solid silhouette. I worked pretty quickly in the beginning, not wanting to second guess myself too much in this early stage, and just really went for it. Mistakes can always be fixed, especially with acrylic paint. With the shape set, I could start mixing the correct colors and fill it in based on my observations. I use the dark green to cut out the shapes of the leaves to make them more visible. I usually try not to use black because it always dulls down all the colors and I like high saturation and high chroma in my paintings. Also I was taught to go without it if possible. I found this second attempt much better than my first. I think I had a better idea of what I was doing this time around and also the quieter area let me focus more on my painting. So there was one really cute distraction. What? A cat? Oh yeah. Wrapping up my first plein air painting experience, it was much more relaxing than I thought it would be. I was actually a bit nervous going in because outside world's scary, but it was actually very peaceful and I had a good time. Would definitely do it again and highly recommend everyone give it a try. Thanks so much for watching, please go check out Lee's channel and the videos he makes. He's an extremely talented artist and a great guy all around. Appreciate him getting me out of the house and inviting me to paint. That's all for now, until next time. Peace. It's 3.30am, I'm going to sleep.